Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about two new movies that are based on actual events. One is Catherine Bigelow's big, expansive new movie, Detroit. And the other is a smaller movie called Wind River. Detroit, directed by Catherine Bigelow, her first film since Zero Dark Thirty, is essentially a docudrama about the 1967 Detroit riots, culminating in some murders by policemen. Yeah, um, I thought, I mean, I went into this thinking that, the, like, I was going to absolutely love this movie and it was going to be really great, and I was a little bit disappointed. Um, I, I would say I'm a bit disappointed also. Yeah, I thought, um, it, it's interesting because it's a very long movie, but it went by pretty quickly and I thought it had nice momentum. It does center on that one big event that you were talking about, the murders by the policemen, and I'm not really sure what, like, that sequence was very long, and I can't really pinpoint exactly what I find wrong with the movie, but it might just be maybe I thought that sequence was too long, maybe I thought that it took a little bit too long to get there, because I thought that, like, that one event could have been a movie of its own, so... It essentially I, is. It kind of is, but it just, like, takes a while to get there, so I'm having trouble kind of figuring out what exactly I thought, but there was something there that I didn't totally love. The movie kind of opens up old wounds unnecessarily, I thought, and I'm not quite sure what the purpose of the movie is. There's certainly a parallel between what's happening today and what happened in 1967, which of course is most unfortunate. And it's a very compelling movie, but there is just something missing from it. John Boyega is in the film. Uh, you wouldn't expect to see him <laughs> in this film because he's now associated with Star Wars, but he's very good in this film. And uh, most of the supporting work is good, although Will Poulter, who plays a, an extremely racist and hateable uh, police character, is kind of over the top, and uh, I'm not sure that a better actor couldn't have done better in that role. That's possible. And I think um, this movie still is proof that Catherine Bigelow really knows how to make a film. She absolutely she knows really how to does. make a movie. Yeah. I would give this movie uh, three cylinders. I think I would give this movie three and a half cylinders. Now, Wind River is a much smaller movie, and that's directed by Taylor Sheridan. It's also written by him, and he previously wrote Hell or High Water and Sicario. And this film, again, has some terrific dialogue. He's really good at writing dialogue. He's unfortunately not as good cinematically as a director. I think maybe if someone else had directed the script, it would have been a better movie. Maybe if there was another director who had like a, a better handle on how to make this kind of movie, it could be like really tight and really compelling. But that being said, I thought it had two really good performances from Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. And, and I think, uh, and, and not oh, to interrupt no. you, but I, th I think the I think the performances were really something that uh, to that director's credit. Absolutely. So if you took a different director, you might not have gotten those performances. So it might be a case of six of one, half dozen of the other. Maybe. Uh, Jeremy Jeremy Renner is very good in this movie, mm -hmm. and, and so is Elizabeth Olsen. The movie is about a uh, murder on an Indian reservation, and it's, uh, it starts off, I think, a little better than it ends up, but it's a compelling, tight little movie throughout. Yeah. I'd give this movie three cylinders as well. I would also give this movie three cylinders. Detroit and Wind River. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you at the movies. Bye.